from the Dollar Tree. I did find a few things. I went for black tissue paper, but they didn't have it. But pizza pan, cookie sheet. We bought knives from there not long ago, and they are pretty good. We just never have enough knives, so I bought a couple more. Fabric softener sheets, cleaner, which I've never used before, coffee filters, and the funky spider, and removable hooks. Now, I've never used these, but I've only seen them in white. But today, they had several different colors and a couple of different sizes, so I thought I would try them. And the pom-pom makers, and the glue gun pad, and birthday cards. And then they did have a birthday party section for dogs, but I just got the bandana. And I did get tissue paper. They had several designs. I ended up getting like a gray pattern one. Hopefully that'll work. And this is like a little plunger, I thought, for the sink. Instead of using the same one you use in the toilet, which is gross. And some reusable bags, which we're using as gift bags. This one's a two-pack. And then, oh, a candy bar. And then a bigger Batman bag. And I did also find this mirror at the Dollar Tree. I had to find a place where I could put it up. This turns. It looks heavy, but it's not. But I think it's pretty sturdy. The clerk said, wow, looks pretty decent for a Dollar Tree stuff. So we'll see. The only crafty things I've worked on were the little hanging skeleton. And I did um, watch the tutorial for how to put him together. So he's kind of cute. And then a preemie hat. I'll note the pattern, but honestly, I had the worst time with this. The pattern is super simple, and yet I could not do it. I don't know if it's the way I had the stitches on the needles or what, but no. So here's the skeleton in all his hanging glory. I'm thinking I need to, I saw somewhere glow in the dark yarn. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? He just, the wind is blowing. He's just not going to cooperate. Kind of cute. So this is probably the last of the garden updates. The grapes pretty much took over. And we do have quite a few grapes. But they have seeds. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do with them. And then the olive tree actually got a couple of olives on it. We did try tomatoes in a pot. And we did get some tomatoes. But not as good as they could have been. And then the rest of the garden. So the hops also did well. And I probably should have picked them because we we're going to try to brew with them. So I'm hoping I didn't wait too long and that this rain doesn't mess with them. And then broom corn. And don't do corn in a raised bed. It just doesn't work. Still can't remember what that plant is. And the rest of the garden has been slowly taken over by this nasty weed that I cannot get rid of. So we have gotten lots of tomatoes and cucumbers and beans and the new yellow golden raspberries. We've gotten a few off those since this is the first year. I'm hoping next year will be better. And look, mushrooms. I, I don't even know how that happened because it's really been fairly dry here. So hopefully next year I'll be able to get rid of this weed and get some more weed paper down and bark chips. So it'll at least look better. And I've pretty much given up on the wall. It, nothing goes in there. <laughs>